John Stanley Hansen II is an American former professional wrestler, best known under his ring name Stan Hansen. Hansen is renowned for his stiff wrestling style, which he attributes to his poor eyesight. He is also known for his gimmick as a loud, violent cowboy who wanted to fight everybody, which he further emphasized by appearing in interviews with a cowboy hat, leather vest and bull rope while often chewing on tobacco. Considered to be among the most successful and popular gay jeans in professional wrestling history, Hansen became more well-known and revered in Japan than in his native United States. Despite this, Hansen still found championship success in both countries. Professional wrestling career Early career after playing college football as a part of the West Texas State Buffaloes, Hansen made his professional wrestling debut in 1973, initially taking up wrestling as a part-time job while trying out for the Detroit Wheels. Hansen began wrestling full-time when the team folded. In 1975, Hansen first teamed with future partner Frank Goodish, who later adopted the ring name Bruiser Brody, while competing in Leroy McGuire's Tri-State Territory, Worldwide Wrestling Federation, World Wrestling Federation in 1976. Hansen made his debut for the Worldwide Wrestling Federation and only two months after he began competing for the company, he began feuding with the WWF heavyweight champion Bruno San Martino over the title. During a title match, Hansen broke San Martino's neck while they were wrestling and it was from this incident that both Hansen and promoters claimed that San Martino's injury came about from the enormous power of his lariat. However, a botched power slam is what actually caused San Martino's injury. After San Martino recovered, Hansen faced him for the WWF Heavyweight Championship once again, but was unsuccessful. He left the promotion soon after. He returned in 1980, rekindling his feud with San Martino and facing Pedro Morales and Andre the Giant on several occasions. He also developed a heated feud with then-WWF champion Bob Backlund which culminated in a steel cage match at Madison Square Garden. American Wrestling Association Hansen competed in the American Wrestling Association from 1985 to 1986. He won the World Heavyweight Championship on December 29, 1985, from Rick Martel. On June 29, 1986, he no-showed a title defense against the number one contender Nick Bockwinkel due to disagreements with management forcing the hour to default the title to Bockwinkel. Rumors suggest that Hansen was actually in the building that evening and had been informed by our promoter Vern Gagne of the pending loss to Bockwinkel. Hansen allegedly called All Japan Pro Wrestling President Giant Baba to ask if losing the championship was acceptable. But Baba had already lined up challenges for Hansen and did not permit Hansen to drop the championship. At the time, Hansen was already in a feud with Vern's son Greg, in which Hansen was determined to hogtie Greg and make him squeal like a pig. Eventually, Hansen was too much for Ganya, and on an episode of All Star Wrestling, Hansen hogtied Greg and proceeded to make him squeal in front of his fans, friends, and family. In the end, Hansen refused to drop the title to Bockwinkel and was stripped of the championship. Bockwinkel was given one of the tag team belts, which was then billed as the Hour World Heavyweight Championship due to Hansen still possessing the true title belt. Hansen immediately returned to Japan and defended the Hour World Heavyweight Championship, despite being stripped of it. The hour threatened legal action if Hansen continued to carry the belt and refer to himself as the organization's champion. So Hansen responded by running over the belt with his truck and mailing it back with the mud track still on it. This chain of events was reviewed in an interview with Hansen at an NWA Legends convention, in which he expressed regret over the way he handled the situation and ultimately complimented Ganya. New Japan Pro Wrestling Hansen first came to New Japan Pro Wrestling in May 1980 doing one-off shows where usually teamed and fought Bob Backlund.
from November 21 to December 13, 1980, Hansen did a tour for New Japan Pro Wrestling, where he competed in the first MSG League. He teamed with Hulk Hogan, but they failed to win. He returned that April to wrestle Antonio Inoki in an unsuccessful match. He returned for several more one-off shows until leaving the promotion in early 1981. Hansen returned at NJPW's Super Fight in Tokyo Dome event in 1990, where he had a infamous inter-promotional match against Vader. The match for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship saw Big Van Vader get struck in the eye during the entrances by Hansen's bull rope. Both men were known to use a stiff style of wrestling, resulting in a nasty exchange where each man threw legitimate punches. The match ended in a draw, and Hansen never returned to New Japan. All Japan Pro Wrestling in 1981, Hansen abruptly left NJPW to join All Japan Pro Wrestling. While in AJPW, Hansen became the only man to pin Antonio Inoki and Giant Barber in championship singles matches. He continued wrestling from 1982 to 1999 in World's Strongest Tag Determination League. He wrestled primarily in tag matches, where he formed many teams with the likes of Bruiser Brody, Terry Gordy, Ted DiBiase, Jinichiro Tenryu, Dan Spivy, Bobby Duncombe Jr., and Big Van Vader. Hansen also engaged in a renowned brawl with Andre the Giant in Japan. In addition to championship matches, Hansen also competed in other high-profile matches. At the NJPW Super Fight in Tokyo Dome show on February 2, 1990, Hansen competed in another notable match as he represented AJPW against NJPW representative Big Van Vader. This particular match became renowned for its stiffness, as Hansen and Vader repeatedly exchanged blows until Hansen unintentionally poked Vader's right eye with his thumb which caused the eye to pop out of its socket. After removing his mask, pushing the eye back into its socket and holding it in place with his eyelid, Vader continued wrestling Hansen until the match was rendered a no contest. As a result of the injury, Vader required a metal plate to be surgically placed under his eye. On April 13, 1990, the World Wrestling Federation and AJPW held a super show called Wrestling Summit at the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, in which Hansen lost to Hulk Hogan in the main event. Hansen won his first Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship by defeating Terry Gordy on June 8, 1990 and wrestled a rematch in NJPW against Vader on June 12. World Championship Wrestling In late 1990, Hansen began appearing in World Championship Wrestling, feuding with Lex Luger over the NWA United States Heavyweight Championship. On October 27 at Halloween Havoc, Hansen defeated Luger to win the title, ending Luger's record-setting reign at 523 days. On December 16 at Starcade, Hansen lost the title back to Luger in a ball rope match. During this period, Hansen continued working tours for All Japan, teaming with Dan Spivy to finish second in the world's strongest tag determination league in November and December. Hansen wrestled another rematch with Vader at the Wrestle War pay-per-view in February 1991. On April 18, Hansen and Spivy won the AJPW World Tag Team Championship from Terry Gordy and Steve Williams, and teamed occasionally upon their return to WCW. In June, Hansen left WCW and returned full-time to All Japan after a disagreement over an idea to group him with the Desperados, a trio of bumbling cowboys looking for Hansen through a series of vignettes. His last WCW match occurred on June 23 in Atlanta. As a result of his departure, the Desperado's angle was dropped and the trio was quickly dissolved. Return to AJPW Upon his return to AJPW, Hansen began a major feud with Mitsuharu Misawa. 
during which time they traded the Triple Crown Championship between one another. Following Giant Baba's death, Misawa became the new booker and quickly began to emphasizing Hansen and other foreign talent in favor of new native recruits such as Takaro Omori and Yoshihiro Takayama. In 2000, Misawa and all but two natives defected from the promotion and formed Pro Wrestling Noah. Although Hansen chose to remain loyal to AJPW instead of joining the talent exodus, Despite remaining with AJPW, Hansen's ongoing lumbago at the time began to worsen, which ultimately led him to wrestle his final singles match on October 21, 2000 as part of a tournament for the vacant Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship. Hansen lost the semi-final match to old partner Jinichiro Tenryu, who went on to win the tournament and the title. His last match altogether was a six-man bout on the 28th, in which he, Steve Williams and Wolf Hawkfield lost to Johnny Smith, Yoshiaki Fujiwara and Masanobu Fuchi. Hansen announced his retirement on January 28, 2001. Post-retirement soon after retiring, Hansen successfully underwent surgery on his back and knees, the latter of which were both replaced. After recovering, he became the commissioner of AJPW's Pacific Wrestling Federation Championship governing body, which saw him appear during Triple Crown and World Tag Team Championship matches to issue proclamations of the matches. In July 2007, Hansen voluntarily resigned from the position, with Hiroshi Hayes replacing him. Personal life In 1989, Hansen had a small role in the World Wrestling Federation produced movie No Holds Barred, which starred Hulk Hogan. Hansen has four children. He has an eldest son, John Stanley Hansen III and daughter, Elizabeth Page Hansen, from his first marriage. He had two more children in his second marriage, Shaver, played baseball at Baylor University before being drafted by the Seattle Mariners as the second pick in the sixth round of the 2009 Major League Baseball Draft. His younger son, Samuel, is also a baseball player and played for the University of Texas at Arlington. Other media, filmography no holds barred is Neanderthal. Books The Last Outlaw, In Wrestling, Finishing Moves Lariat, A Western Lariat, Signature Moves Belly to Back Suplex Brazos Valley Backbreaker DDT Elbow Drop Pile Driver Power Bomb Running Knee Drop Running Shoulder Block Scoop, Slam Snap Suplex, Manages Freedy Blassie, Nicknames, Cowboy, The Lariat, The Man, The Bad Man from Borger, Texas, Fudge Lincoln, Entrance Themes, Sunrise by Spectrum, Wrestlers Trained Satoshi Kojima, Championships and Accomplishments, All Japan Pro Wrestling NWA International Heavyweight Championship NWA International Tag Team Championship with Ron Bass NWA United National Championship PWF World Heavyweight Championship PWF World Tag Team Championship with Bruiser Brody. Ted DiBiase and Austin Idol Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship World Tag Team Championship with Terry Gordy, Jinichiro Tenryu, Dan Spivy, Ted DiBiase and Gary Albright Champion Carnival World's Strongest Tag Determination League with Bruiser Brody World's Strongest Tag Determination League with Ted DiBiase World's Strongest Tag Determination League with Terry Gordy World's Strongest Tag Determination League with Jinichiro Tenryu January 2nd Karaku and Hall Heavyweight Battle Royal American Wrestling Association Our World Heavyweight Championship Cauliflower Alley Club Other Honorary Continental Wrestling Association CWA International Heavyweight Championship Georgia Championship Wrestling NWA Columbus Heavyweight Championship NWA Georgia Heavyweight Championship NWA Georgia Tag Team Championship with Tommy Rich and Ole Anderson Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling World Championship Wrestling NWA United States Heavyweight Championship 1 NWA World Tag Team Championship 
with Ole Anderson, NWA Big Time Wrestling NWA Texas Tag Team Championship with Killer Tim Brooks, NWA Tri-State NWA North American Heavyweight Championship NWA United States Tag Team Championship with Frank Goodish, National Wrestling Federation NWF Heavyweight Championship, Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum Class of 2010. Pro Wrestling Illustrated Match of the Year vs. Bruno Sammartino on June 25th Most Hated Wrestler of the Year ranked number 24 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 1991 ranked number 16 of the top 500 singles of the PWI years in 2003 ranked number 7 Texas Wrestling Hall of Fame Class of 2014 Tokyo Sports Best Bout Award vs. Toshiaki Kawada on June 5th Best Tag Team Award with Vader Lifetime Achievement Award Match of the Year Award vs. Giant Baba on February 4th Match of the Year Award vs. Jinichiro Tenryu on July 27th Outstanding Foreigner Award Popularity Award Wrestling Observer Newsletter 5 Star Match with Bruiser Brody vs. Story and Terry Funk on December 8th 5-star match with Terry Gordy vs. Jinichiro Tenryu and Toshiaki Kawada on December 16th 5-star match vs. Kent Kobashi on July 29th Best Brawler Tag Team of the Year with Ole Anderson Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame. One Hansen won the championship after Ted Turner purchased Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling from Jim Crockett Jr. and renamed the promotion World Championship Wrestling. Hansen's reign was also prior to the championship being renamed the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship.